In chapter 26 of Jane Eyre, it is the wedding day, and Jane and Rochester go to the church. Although they have no guests, Jane notices two men standing off to one side. As they are about to say their wedding vows, one of the men, Mr. Briggs, objects. He claims that Rochester is already married to Mr. Mason's sister, Bertha, a Creole woman whom Rochester married 15 years ago and that he has the marriage certificate to prove it. Mr. Mason appears and affirms that Rochester is already married to his sister. After a moment of inarticulate fury, Rochester admits the truth of his mad wife's existence. He admits that his wife is alive and that by marrying Jane, he would knowingly have taken a second wife. He promises them all that Jane is ignorant of Bertha's existence so that she does not receive any retribution. He takes the priest, Mr. Briggs, Mr. Mason, and Jane to the third floor room of Thornfield to see Bertha. There, attended by Grace Poole, Bertha runs back and forth on all fours, behaving like an animal. She bites Rochester's face and tries to strangle him. With Grace Poole's help, he ties the madwoman to a chair. When they leave the room, Mr. Briggs informs Jane that her uncle, John Eyre, is dying. He explains that after her uncle had received her letter about her upcoming marriage, he mentioned it to Mason, a colleague who knew the truth. Concerned for his niece, he sent Mason to stop the false marriage. Shocked by the events of the day, Jane shuts herself in her room. Not knowing what to think, she decides she must leave Thornfield. Feeling alone, she prays for God's help. The mysteries surrounding Grace Poole are finally explained. Rochester had concealed, not only from Jane, but from almost everyone, the secret of his mad wife. Those who may have known of her existence believed she was a mad half-sister or a former mistress. Rochester feels that because he was tricked into marrying an insane woman, he should be allowed to break the marriage bond. Understanding Jane's upright character, he knows that she would never agree to be with him if she knew about Bertha. After these revelations, Jane feels she doesn't completely know Rochester. She fears that what he feels for her is only fickle passion. If this is true, she thinks he will have no desire for her to stay at Thornfield now that his plans have been thwarted.